Our church has partnered with Samaritan's Purse and Operation Christmas Child for a number of years now. And what it is, is that we, we, bring the, we get the shoe boxes and we distribute them to people. And then throughout the next couple of weeks, they go out and fill them with just essential supplies that somebody in a third world country might need, from toothpaste, toothbrushes, to warm socks, to um, any of those really necessities. Or, or, and in addition to that, like a cool toy, you can deflate a soccer ball and put it in there with a pump, you know, something cool that they could open up on Christmas and get a Christmas gift. Yeah. Um, we provide a list in the, in the box that has suggested items, what works, what's not so good, and then for certain reasons why. Um, but then we're just trying to really bless people and give them items that they may need through local organizations in that area that reach out to them. So um, anybody that wants to pick up a box and show it is welcome to. We didn't want to limit it to within the church. We wanted to open it up to anybody in the Hopkinson area that wanted to hop on board could do this. Um, all they need to do is they would stop by the church and pick up one of the shoe boxes. It's specific to the organization, so it's not just a generic one, it's their special one. Um, and then go fill it and then just bring it back to us. And there will be a little pamphlet that uh, the person just pays for shipping. It's a $7 shipping charge. So they put it in there, and that's what gets it all over the world. Uh, and can you talk about some of the supplies that you're looking for the most? Anything of the practical necessities that we use on an everyday basis, whether that be hygienic items from bars of soap, not liquid soap, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, the caps for the toothbrush, cup, uh, like the covers that go with it, um, socks, plain t-shirts. A lot of the kids that get them are going to school, so notebooks, pencils, pens, that kind of stuff that they can really use on an everyday basis. Are They go a really long way with these gifts, and they're fantastic and really appreciated. Um, we go, we try to say plain t-shirts, um, just because they're going to a ton of different cultures and we don't exactly know who's getting it as far as what country it's going to. But we have, they're broken up into different age groups and you can do different genders. So you can say, this is for a boy that's 10 to 14 years old. And then you can pick stuff in the box specific to that. Or you can say, this is a five to 10 year old girl and then get toys or stuff that's specific to that person 